In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to tweak the settings of the program. We'll have several lessons on this one because there's a lot to think through as you tweak the settings to work for you. We're going to click on the gear at the top, which gives us a Set User Preferences menu. And once we're there, let's start with the General area. I click on General, and this is what we see. We have a number of undo levels. The default is 50. You can set it any way bet anywhere between 0 and 100. The higher you go, the more CPU resources it will consume because your program will keep tracking your moves as you design your video. So I've never found a reason to go above 50, but if you want to, you certainly may. The option to the right is about audio channels. You have two options. You can do stereo or 5.1 surround. If you're working with raw data recorded in 5.1 surround and you have it set to stereo, it will simply down mix it into two channels. The next one on the left is your uh, timeline frame rate. Uh, 30 frames per second with NTSC is pretty common in the US. You can also set it to any of the others here. Uh, 24 is often used. PAL is for different areas of the country or the world. Uh, use frame time, drop frame time code. You can set to no or yes. If you're using NTSC on the left option, it's recommended you leave this to yes. The next option is show sound waveform in timeline. Let me show you what that does. When I'm looking down here, it's right now it's set to off. And when I have this clip here, I see a sound level, but I don't see the waveform. If I turn this on and then click on OK, now I see the waveform in my timeline. I recommend that you uh, operate with that particular parameter set to on or enabled. The next one is to enable high definition video processing. It creates a, a shadow file. This will speed up the editing of high def. Again, it will use CPU resources. So if your system tends to lag a little bit, you may experiment with having it turned off. Auto delete temporary files. How often do you want to set that for? You can go any amount you want. The default is 30 days. Um, <clears throat> depends on the amount of room you have on your hardware and your hard drive, or you can manually delete by clicking the button right now, and it will do that for you. Automatically check for software updates. Uh, this says, do I want a nag screen to come to me from CyberLink? I normally turn mine off, but if you want the updates, uh, leave it on and you will find it. Um, language, this is the default language of your computer system, or you can click this one to a user defined. So that's our general screen. Let's look at the capture screen next. When you capture information, whether it's video or audio, what do you want to do with it? I tend to go with the defaults here, where it will add it to the media library, add it to empty workspaces, and automatically um, file re, uh, do a file replacement when I'm doing a voice over. Uh, auto detect scenes, I prefer not to auto detect captured scenes because I'm not sure if I'm going to like the results of what it does with them. So I just usually turn this one on and ignore the rest. Let me look at one more menu as we begin our journey. Confirmation. Uh, these are areas where Power Director will ask you, are you sure? Uh, is this what you want to do? Um, I, I've allowed it to give me all these confirmations, but if you find one that pops up that annoys you, this is a screen to go where you can say, you know, I don't want you to prompt me, prompt me about this. Um, I know that's true, and I'm just going to uncheck that, and it'll turn the warning off. But these are the defaults designed to help you make sure you don't make a bad decision that's a little bit difficult to undo. So we'll click on that one. One more, the director zone. 
Uh, the director zone is a place where you can sign in when the program initiates onto the internet and get into the director zone area. Uh, I tend not to need that uh, so much when I'm running my program, so uh, I don't uh, I don't use this. But if you want to, this is where you put your director zone email and password. And the other one is privacy rules allow director zone to gather editing information. Um, I tend to be a little cautious about that, no matter who the vendor is. So I leave mine unchecked. If you're comfortable with it and you want them to. Uh, you can check this and allow for that. So those are the first four areas in our settings or preferences. Uh, we'll work through uh, the next section in the following lesson.